Good evening, shipmates. Uh, it's me once again, your lucky Captain Jack. Today I'm bringing you the Tier 5 La Gala Sonnier. A Tier 5 French cruiser. She carries 3x3, 152mm guns, has two dual torpedo launchers, one per side. So we're going to begin about a minute or so in. Uh, fast forwarded through the very beginning, and all you really missed was me taking off to the left while our destroyer teammate took off into the middle and I have a, a friendly cruiser coming with me he's sitting about seven o'clock to my ship's position and the first thing we're gonna encounter is this mayhem up here the Galissonier has pretty good guns especially if you're firing high explosive uh, this, in, this particular ship has a 12 percent uh, start fire percentage or chance and uh, that typically is enough to get it done we know that British cruisers and battleships have a higher chance of setting a fire, but 12% uh, is definitely not bad. And when you're firing against something this small, you usually stand a pretty good chance. So I think it's the next salvo where I finally get him to burn in. So it wasn't too tough to set him on fire right away. Um, and now you see me bring the, the first of the two torpedo launchers into play firing at this uh, Britain as it comes around. So, use the guns, set the fire, able to get the, the quick kill on the Mahan, and then torpedoes in the water toward the Britain. You'll see the first torpedoes look good, second torpedoes fired away, and uh, they, they're heading off in a pretty damn good direction, but they don't get a chance to make it because my teammate once again comes in and steals the kill. And I'm pretty sure I yelled at him on the headset. But I'm not surprised by it because it happens a lot. Anyway, so moving right along. We continue around the corner. The next thing that we run into is Nacosta. Fire the first set of rounds at him. 152 millimeter guns do pretty good damage to a destroyer. But my rounds were just a tad high. So take a second, reload, fire off the next salvo. But before he dies, the Nacosta is able to get some rounds off at me. And sweet Jesus, there's a fire. And naturally, we just used our repair party because that's how it goes. And so I'm going to burn for the next 16 seconds. Now, obviously, as you know, or maybe don't know, destroyers do not burn as long as cruisers, and cruisers do not burn as long as battleships. I think it's 30 seconds, 45 seconds, and 60 seconds, respectively, something along those lines. Uh, but either way, so yeah, you, you definitely want to pay attention to that as nobody likes to die in a fiery blaze. Crackle, crackle, crackle. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up real quick and we will resume our normal speed broadcast as soon as there is something worth seeing. All right, so here in a second, we're gonna go ahead and spot these ships and the, and the first thing we've got here to shoot at is a Bairn. You know, those German battleships in their ridiculous armor, but let's go ahead and see what we can do. Meanwhile, we're floating through D, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and get a cap here, which I hadn't intended to do. I was really just trying to put myself in a place where I could shoot at some stuff. But uh, sure enough, we, we managed to get the cap, and the Baron is not looking at us at all. In fact, he doesn't appear to have been looking at much of anything at all, as he just swallowed a whole bunch of torpedoes. So he's flooding, and then we set a fire, and he put it all out. So now, of course, the next fires that we set, if there are any, we'll uh, just let him burn for a good 45 or 60 seconds, whatever we decided. So there's an, another happy little fire, like Bob Ross says, happy little accident. Except there wasn't an accident, and I'm not Bob Ross. But anyhow, so again, the fires are burning. We just fire two more torpedoes, get him out in that direction. we continue to see what's going to happen. So Bayern took a few more shots and then we turn our direction toward the Fuso. Start looking at good old Fuso and uh, come to find out that look at that we burn the Bayern to death. So that's always nice. So now uh, it's our five ships, me and my two teammates plus our two destroyers up against their remaining three. Uh, 
uh, Fuso's getting a, a lot more attention than he probably wanted. Uh, I'm sure it hurt his feelings a little bit, but you know what? You can't afford to have feelings in this game. Uh, now, don't get me wrong. I, I get pissed off and rage quit as much as anyone else. I have the broken controllers to show for it. But I've uh, been trying to turn over a new leaf. You know? And I also got really good at fixing Xbox controllers. So anyway, we've got our couple of torpedoes in the water toward the Fuso who's still a long ass way away and uh, French torpedoes uh, I don't remember what the actual range on them is it's something something in the way of probably eight seven and a half eight kilometers oh no uh, nine and a half nine and a half kilometers on La Galassonnier and so you know you always stand a good chance of hitting something far out It'd be even nicer if you could not be detected but your chances of that are pretty close to zero when you're out here wreaking the kind of havoc that we have been. Alright, so uh, as you just saw, the the incendiary rounds, the AG rounds burned the Fuso and finally got him dead. And we're up to four kills. Two ships left, a battleship and a destroyer. And that Texas is at full health. Probably because he was coasting at the back. But, you know, that's that's his teammate's problem. That's not our problem. You see, he just hit us with a pretty hefty salvo. I didn't expect that it was coming, so I didn't turn my ship or anything like you'll probably see me do here in a second. And for whatever reason, we're still firing HE. Um, I don't know what it was that possessed me to keep doing that. Um, I didn't need fires. But it was working. You know, you're inflicting some damage finally decide, okay, well, time to peel off of this thing a little bit and see if we can run into the old Fubuki. Turn, fire torpedoes at the direction that he was heading, but you know as well as I do that any destroyer worth his salt is not going to stay going in a straight line for long. Not when he's detected. Um, nothing more embarrassing than getting killed by a torpedo when you're in a destroyer. Um, I always laugh when I do it to other people. I get really mad when other people do it to me. Uh, I reckon you're probably the same way. It's like there's no excuse for it, you know. You're you're in a destroyer. You're fast. You're agile. Uh, typically, you've got some sort of uh, hydrographic thing going on, so that you should know the torpedoes are coming. Your detection range is way higher than some of the other things. So yeah, it's a huge slap in the face to get killed by a torpedo when you're the one that's supposed to be doing the killing. Anyway, so before I could get that last guy, and before I can steal this kill right here and achieve the Kraken, uh, leave it to your teammates to come in and step in and finally step up. The destroyers that we've been asking to do something for the whole game finally show up and prevent me from getting the Kraken that I had earned. But anyway, so there you have it. You know, there's La Galassonnie. Um, pretty pretty good cruiser really becoming a big fan of it um, you see I finished 83k four kills but thanks to my teammate not five kills but anyway we'll catch him next time hey thanks for coming along today guys appreciate you appreciate you coming and watching the video uh, if you enjoyed what you saw go ahead and like and subscribe uh, that'd be great leave me some comments about some future content that you might like to see and uh, I'll do my best to get it out there uh, thanks for sailing with me, guys. I'll see you out there on the high seas. Lucky Jack out.